Hey, Em, Emily. What? Check your phone. Well, don't look at me like that. Come on. No. Please? No. showed some to Michael. No. What's the difference between me and him? I've already seen him. I didn't show anything to anyone. I already saw them. Why would it be no. so bad? Come on, please. No, leave me alone. Come on. No. It wouldn't be that bad. No. What's the problem? Seriously? Leave me alone. Seriously? Seriously. Fine. School bus drivers are constantly having to adapt and enforce rules on their school bus. Intervening with students, disciplinary action, and a healthy line of communication between the driver and students are critical in maintaining safety and structure. However, there is an important and unsettling issue that takes place on school buses across the country. We are talking about sexual harassment. So ask yourself these questions. Do you know what sexual harassment consists of? Do you know how to react if it takes place on your bus? Ben! What's going on back there? How can you rely on the school team to help if harassment takes place on your bus? And how could you have prevented it from happening? These questions and more will be answered in this video. The video will be divided into these sections. It's critical for school bus drivers to observe and identify offensive sexual behavior. Drivers can then adopt techniques to effectively intervene. Such techniques can be applied when taking on sexual harassment issues on the bus. Also make sure you follow your district's policies on sexual harassment. Now let's get into the first section of the video where we will briefly explain what sexual harassment is and the effect it can have on your school bus. School bus drivers need to be on top of their game in order to identify and react to behavioral issues that take place on their bus. The school bus is an extension of the classroom. Bus drivers don't only have to operate the bus, in addition they must be a teacher. Sexual harassment is an ongoing issue for school bus drivers to contend with. In today's environment, bullying and violence pose enormous threats to the safety of the students. Unfortunately, sexual harassment is a close cousin to these behavioral issues. That is why sexual harassment must be observed and identified correctly. It poses a very serious threat to students on the bus. Yeah. What? Ew, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Since the school bus is an extension of the classroom, it is important to recognize that harassment can easily take place on any school bus. A student being harassed is stuck. They can't get away from the onslaught of harassment aimed at them. Harassment takes place in all types of shapes and forms. 
sexual harassment is identified as unwelcome sexual advances, requests for sexual favors, or any other sex-based verbal or physical conduct. Such conduct has the effect of unreasonably interfering with the student's education by creating an intimidating, hostile, or offensive environment. Bus drivers need to know how to respond to sexual harassment. Most importantly, they must not ignore sexual harassment encounters. Do not tell students it was just a joke or no big deal. Drivers must reiterate to students that harassment, just like bullying, will not be tolerated. School districts have a responsibility to provide a safe environment for students in the classroom, as well as those that ride the school bus. Sexual harassment is considered to be illegal discrimination and must be dealt with efficiently. The goal is to stop this kind of behavior.